Hello and welcome to the 39th edition of one of the world's most prestigious road races, the Great North Run. The man nearest the camera in the red, Dave Weir, seven times a winner. And he will be the favourite for this first title, the Elite Men's Wheelchair Race. And his seven titles, you know, they've been spread throughout these last uh, 16 years. 2003, 2005, then consecutive wins in 2009 and 10, 2013, 2015, 2018. It shows he doesn't hit his best form at this race every single year, but he keeps coming back every couple of years and regaining the title. He's, a, he's an absolute living legend. They are underway. Ironically, Kaitani, one of the last of the elites to respond. And Tim, this, this is a fabulous, fabulous lineup for this race. It really is. It's no exaggeration to say this is genuinely world class. Well, it's more than world class, it's, it's supreme. I mean, Mary Kaitani is arguably the greatest marathon runner in history. You look at her record. Uh, for marathon running, certainly. Three times London Marathon champion, four times New York champion. On the, November the 3rd, in just a few weeks, she's going for her fifth New York title. She is the defending champion from November last year. This wheelchair race on the Tyne Bridge, and they have flown. Look, just eight minutes it's taken them. Yes, they get round the course pretty quickly. Dave Weir, in fact, broke the course record last year, winning in 41 minutes 19. No red arrows this year. We normally have the red arrows going across uh, when the masses follow the elite men's field. But apparently the red arrows are on tour in the United States this year, but they will be back for a very special 40th edition of the uh, Simply Health Great North Run next year. Well, that foreshortening effect makes them look pretty close together, doesn't it? But actually, Cosguy, Bridget Cosguy, just 25 years old, she's fully 12 years younger than Mary Kaitani, has got a pretty big gap. Now, you can see the chasing group there and the tiny figure in the light blue vest of Mary Kaitani. Here we go, then. 50,000 dreams, 50,000 PBs, and millions and millions of pounds in money being raised for local, national and international charities. And that looks as though, is that Ali Dixon, Tim? I think it could be, yes, to the right of picture. You see the fourth athlete in, there's a, a lady dressed as Superwoman. And I think that's Ali Dixon, who just a week ago became world record holder and world champion at 50 kilometers of ultra distance running. She's from the northeast, she's running in effect in front of the home crowd. The elite men over the Tyne Bridge in glorious early autumnal sunshine. It's a classic moment in distance running and one to be savored. And that looks as though Dave Weir has just won the elite wheelchair title with Brent Lakatos just behind him. So. The eight-time London Marathon champion is now an eight-time winner of the Great North Run. Meanwhile, Bridget Koskai still out front and still, even though those head-on angles can sometimes foreshorten a lead, we can't even see Mary Kaitani or Magdalena all in at Masai. 5.03 for that last mile. We are down to just seven athletes in this lead group. Mo Farah now in the slipstream of one of his competitors, not getting it all his own way today. Bridget Koskai to a guard of honour here in the sunshine of South Shields is producing surely the fastest half marathon we've ever seen by a woman. It won't go down officially in the record books, but this is a performance which will never be forgotten. It's an incredible run from Koskai. She smashes the fastest time ever seen. What a run. Now, the significance here, Tim, is that the last time we saw Tamirat Tola, he put in a 4.23 and a 4.20, but that last mile was 4.39 and may well suggest the reason why Sir Mo Farah has managed to catch Tamirat Tola. Callum Hawkins face is a picture of concentration. Very compact runner, there's very little wasted movement. I, I, I really like the way Hawkins runs. He's aggressive, 
He's got a good economical style for the roads. We think he's in fourth at the moment. 72 and 76, and look at this. It's Mo Farah using this steep downhill section. He's asking the questions, and maybe this time it's Toller who can't find the answer for a sixth consecutive Great North Run win. The course record, 58-56. He's going to produce here his lifetime best over the half marathon. Tamirat Toller has contributed and possibly been the cause for this pace being so fast because he went so hard in the middle part of the race to try and break the multiple world and Olympic champion. But with his head beginning to rock and roll and the arms driving, this is an incredible performance. 59.07, he's just a shade outside the course record. It's a new personal best for him and Tamir Aptola, and we've never seen a European male run quicker over the half marathon.